What is up, ladies and gentlemen? This is Jeff Benjamin with I Download Blog. We are talking about Sticky, an upcoming jailbreak tweak that allows you to place sticky notes on your lock screen. The ability to place sticky notes on a lock screen, I, I just can't tell you how handy it is just to be able to quickly take a note directly from the lock screen and always have that note accessible to you just by tapping a little button in the bottom left hand corner there. Uh, Sticky allows you to customize it. You can move around the note anywhere on the lock screen. You can, of course, type in notes directly from the lock screen as well. Uh, you can clear notes by using the little X button in the upper right hand corner. You can hide the keyboard by using a little button in the upper left hand corner. And it's it pretty much works exactly how you would expect it to. Uh, it's just good for storing one note. Uh, you're not going to have multiple notes or pages of notes or anything like that. But that's a good thing because it keeps it simple, keeps it from being too convoluted and, you know, unnecessarily complicated. Now, one of the best things about this tweak is that the note is just there on your lock screen. Unless you hide it using the button in the left hand corner, it stays available. So as soon as you lock your device and you wake it up, you see your note right there front and center, right where you left it last ready to remind you of whatever it was that you need to be needed to be reminded of. Now, if you go into the preferences here for sticky, you'll see at the top, there's a kill switch so you can quickly disable the tweak if you need to do that. And you'll just find lots of options available, such as to disable the smaller sticky size, to change alpha settings. So you can see that's the large sticky right there. I prefer the small sticky and that's probably why it's enabled by default. You also have these hide button customization offsets. So the little button that appears in the bottom left hand corner can be customized with X and Y axis offsets if you choose to do so. So let me go ahead and go back into the uh, preferences here and let's change up the offsets. Let's make the X 15 and the Y 4. How about that? And we'll just go back out to make the changes take effect. And then you'll notice in the bottom left hand corner, see how the little hide button has moved over a little bit. That's because we changed the offset. I don't necessarily like that. I think it looks good at the default zero zero offset. So we'll just keep it like that. You also have animation duration. So you can change up the animation. You can change up the hide animations to use something else like a curl up or fade if you want to do that. You can also alter the sticky color as well. So you can change up the actual color of the sticky. And there's lots of colors that you can choose from using this little, um, basically you just tap anywhere in this little box. Uh, any of the colors available right there you can choose. You can also change the brightness below if you want to do that. And then once you select a custom color, you'll need to tap the apply button to apply the changes uh, for your custom color there. So again, it's as easy as just selecting any color you want, tapping apply, and then going back out, go into your lock screen, and then you should see the new sticky note just like that. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Um, Lots of options contained in the sticky. It's not as uh, simple as it looks on the surface, I guess, but it's core functionality and ease of use. Make this an attractive tweak for pretty much anyone who's uh, ever wanted to take sticky notes or have notes easily accessible on the lock screen. This makes it so easy to do that. And I definitely highly recommend you check out Sticky once it becomes available on Sidious Mod My I Repo. Again, this tweak will be available in the very near future on Sidious Mod My I Repo, and you can find it for 99 cents once it releases. So, what do you think about Sticky? Let me know in the comments down below. This is Jeff with iDownloadBlog.